Hey guys, it's Daniel here and today we're going to be talking about the latest release update on Lightroom Classic as of the 18th of April 2023 in which they've included a new AI denoise feature. So you can find this denoise feature once you've updated underneath the detail panel usually where we find our noise reduction features. Now what they've done is they've actually left in place the manual noise reduction and now they've added in the denoise feature right on the top here and they're basing this noise reduction algorithm on AI. Now before I get into actually using it I'm going to show you guys this particular image that we've got of our lovely couple out in this wheat field. Uh, we're shooting in this beautiful soft natural light and what had happened in this instance is that we had the storm passing by us and it really sucked out a lot of the ambient light that I had in my scene. And that meant I had to really push my ISO up. And as you can see here from my settings, I was sitting at an ISO of 800. Now you guys who follow my work will know that I love to shoot at a very low ISO and that's usually a, an ISO of 100 typically. But in this case here, I really had to push my ISO right up to 800 in order for me to maintain a fast enough shutter speed to freeze any inherent motion of either myself or my subjects. So here you can see I'm at 1 400th of a second, I'm shooting at f2 but having to raise my ISO to 800 in order to maintain those settings and the correct exposure for this particular scene. Now when I zoom into the image you can see that we've got a lot of noise in our image. Now one of the things that I have done in this case was to actually increase my sharpening here so you can see this ISO a little bit more. I'm sure you guys out there who shoot these really insanely high ISOs like 6400 or 25600 will find that this particular image is fairly clean in comparison and rightly so. Um, but for me personally, it is quite a noisy image, especially you know if you get used to shooting these very low ISOs of 100. 800 is like slaughtering the image for me. It's slaughtering the image quality. But I have to say it's not that bad. But what I've done is I've also increased my sharpening here, radius and detail, of course, ramped up to maximize that noise effect in the image. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to go over to my usual way of removing the noise in the image and this is via the luminance slider over here. If I pop this up to say for example 40, there we go. All right, so we've really reduced the noise here and I would say we're still maintaining a good sharpness in the details, okay. If I go up to their face, it still looks pretty neat, okay. Now let's try out the new denoise feature. What I'm going to do before I do that, I'm just going to press Alt or Command on my keyboard if you are a Mac user and that will invoke the reset button over here. So I can click the reset and this will reset any inherent luminance change that we made to our noise here, okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the denoise feature right here. It's just one single button and it actually opens up an interface. Let's click it. Okay, there we go. So this process might take a few seconds for your computer to open up. I've got a pretty beefy computer and I must say that it took a few moments to actually open it. So we can clearly see that it is quite an intensive process. I've got denoise checked here and it's set to only 50%. Okay, it's halfway. We haven't got it all the way to the top. I want to see what it does out of the box in an intelligent way. All right. And I've also got create stack checked here because I want to connect my original image to the edited image. It's going to create one that's called this name over here and it's going to append enhanced to it. So I'm going to click enhance here. Now this says an estimated time of 15 seconds to do that. That's pretty insane. Okay, that's pretty tight. But I guess for an image of this resolution and this size, it might take that time. Let's click enhance. I'm just going to. Let this run. And you can see that we've got this little spinning wheel over here. And of course, right on the top here, creating DNG using denoise. There we go. Like I said, it's going to append noise and 
NR, noise reduction, to that DNG. But look at that result. That is pretty insane, if you ask me. Let's compare the two next to each other because we've actually stacked these together. Now, if you click on that number two at the bottom here, it's going to open up the before image. There we go. And you can see all of the noise that we've got in the image there. And this is the after result. And that looks pretty clean and it's maintaining some lovely sharpness to the details. And that's because the sharpening over here has actually been maintained. If you find that it's too aggressive, you can just back this off to where you want it. Okay, so right here, bringing back the radius, bringing back that sharpening amount, so I'm not overly sharpening my image. And I think that looks absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna zoom into his watch area here because usually when you've got these high detailed images shot at higher ISOs, you kind of get this little bit of a breakdown on the details. But let's have a look at the watch here and look at the little dials on his watch. Let's look at the before. Okay, with the noise, there is a bit of interference with the details there, but without the noise, that looks very well cleaned up. So I really think that this AI noise reduction is performing really, really well. Right folks, so there you have it. That was the denoise feature inside of Lightroom. Uh, I really think this has done a magnificent job over here. And you know, if I zoom into this particular area of this image over here, if we look at the original, you can see that we've lost a little detail in the fine strands of this wheat over here. But when we look at the denoised version of the image, we can see that that's maintaining some lovely detail in those strands of the wheat there. And I think that's pretty amazing. Guys, those of you who shoot astrophotography, you know, I've heard complaints in the past where noise reduction within Lightroom and noise reduction through third party software like Topaz noise reduction actually takes away a lot of the detail in your starscapes, if that's the right word. Uh, but it'll be interesting to know how this works for you guys. So, you know, drop your comments down below if you are an astrophotographer and let me know what this particular AI noise reduction does for you and if it helps you maintain a lot of those other details in the stars of the solar system and you know, give us some feedback, maybe even send me an image that I could actually try it out on and we can see the two side by side and weigh up which of these AI noise solutions actually works the best. Uh, but for me personally, when I look at this image over here, it's maintaining a good balance between sharpness and keeping the image clean. And like I said, that was only at 50% uh, ratio or 50% on the slider. So, you know, I guess if I pushed it more, it might have softened things up a lot more. But even at 50%, this has worked really well with this high ISO at 800. Guys, again, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I really appreciate the support, and we'll see you in the next session. Cheers for now.